So you know how occasionally you see a spider or two in your house and you kind of get freaked out? Well take comfort in the fact that you're not dealing with a worse situation. I'll show you guys some examples of what I'm talking about. Hey YouTube, I'm Court McGinley and welcome back to the most amazing top 5. Before we get started I want to know, what's your least favorite bug? Let me know your answers down in the comments. And before we get started I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our awesome channel. We bring you guys new videos 6 days a week. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what other top 5 lists you would like to see in the future. Alright without further ado let's get started on our list of the top 5 worst bug infestations ever. Coming in at number 5 spot, spiders. This picture was posted on September 15th on reddit. As you can see we have a huge mama spider protecting her hundreds of freshly hatched youngins. And of course where better to start family than on top of an energy meter. Of course this is in Australia where they are known for having ridiculously huge spiders. But could you even imagine this being on your property? I just imagine these little guys crawling all over me. And don't even get me started on that mama spider. She looks like she's bigger than my hand. And all those beady little eyes. No. Yeah, basically I'd, I'd have to move. Not a big fan of spiders if you couldn't tell. In at number 4, cockroaches. Now, one of the really bad things about roaches is that if you see one, there's likely a swarm of them somewhere else close by. Roaches love to stay together and live in dark places. So an abandoned house is the perfect place to stay. This has to be the worst roach infestation I've ever seen. They're on the floor, in the nooks and crannies around cupboards, crawling up the walls, and settling on higher shelves. From the looks of the house it seems like someone was living there. but had to surrender to the roaches. I mean when something gets this bad you have to call in some assistance. They're even up there in the corners of the walls. Then the guy filming the video opens the cupboard below the sink and there were thousands of live ones scampering around in there. Watching this video honestly just made me itch, it was so creepy. You just feel like they're crawling all over you, check it out. At number 3, bees. So this infestation actually made it onto the news on CNN. Josie Para from Houston put up with a bee infestation for 2 years years. She tried to get rid of the bees herself with foam and smoke but eventually it became too much and she had to tear down walls in her house. She didn't know how severe it was until she called in experts from a business called Gotcha Pest Control. The man from the job began to break down bricks from the side of the house where the hive was. It was then that he realized the problem was much worse than he thought. He dug out pounds of honeycomb and then realized the hive was so deep in the house that he would have to go inside. He took off a piece of the ceiling from her son's bedroom and honey began to drip down. Turns out hundreds of thousands of bees were living in her walls and ceiling. Take a look. Coming in at number 2, red wasps. This story comes from Billy the Exterminator himself. You guys may remember him, he used to have a show on TV back in 2009 called humbly enough Billy the Exterminator. On it he and his brother ran a pest control company and they would go to people's homes and get rid of their pest problems. It was pretty entertaining. One of his worst cases was this one with red wasps. He went to visit a house that was literally swarming with the wasps. There were a total of 9 nests. Which is intense. There were thousands of wasps so Billy made a device to kill them. He attached a can of pyrethrin to the end of this device so he could spray them from a safe distance. The chemical attacks the wasps nervous system and ends up killing them. He said in over 25 years he's never seen an infestation like this. Then he had to go into the attic where he found thousands more and had to kill them all. It's, like, it's blowing my freaking mind how many areas I've got to penetrate with a fog to kill these things. This is the worst wasp job I've seen in 25 years. And in at number 1, bed bugs. Okay, this is one that always gets me and really freaks me out. Unless there's swarms like in this case, bed bugs are hard to see with the naked eye. Back in 2011, this video was posted by Town and Country Pest Solutions. And in the video, we can see how bad bed bug infestations can get. This is a bed that's in an apartment building in New York. And the bad thing about bed bugs in apartments is that it's extremely easy for these bugs to get from one unit to another. And if one unit reports bed bugs, then the whole building needs to be fumigated. So in this video I'm about to show you a box spring is covered with so many of these bed bugs that you can fully see them and the exterminator said they could actually smell them. Which apparently is rare and usually a trained dog needs to be called in to sniff them out. Now I don't know how these people let it get this bad before reporting it. The exterminator said that this must have been going on for months, maybe even a year. Watching this video made me so itchy, it's pretty disturbing. God, dude this is like a farm. There's billions of them. Alright and there you have it, that's the list of the top 5 worst bug infestations ever. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.